In this video, we will cover installing the I.O. cards into a London DSP configured chassis. Before opening the chassis, first unplug the unit. When working with any electronic equipment, it's a good idea to take EST precautions. Remove three 2mm Allen screws on the top and two Phillips screws on each side of the lid. Configured units come with blanking plugs for each of the rear card slots from the factory. Go ahead and remove these for each of the slots that you're installing cards in. We want to install card slots C and D first because they sit on the bottom of the chassis under slots B and A. Place card D into the chassis. Next, place card C into the chassis. Secure cards D and C to the bottom of the chassis. Each card takes three standoffs. Next, attach cards D and C to the rear panel with the two screws. Next, we're ready to install the ribbon cables for card slots D and C. When installing the ribbon cables, it's important to note that the silver side always faces down. Line up the sides of the cable with the main board header. Use gentle pressure to insert the cable into the header. Repeat the same process for the I.O. card header. We're going to repeat the same process for card C. Again, the silver side of the ribbon cable goes down. As before, carefully install the ribbon cable into the main board header and the I.O. card header. Next, we're going to install the card shield to isolate the lower and upper cards. Next, we're going to install cards B and A into the chassis. Line each card up with the standoffs and then install the screws.
Next, we're going to install ribbon cables for cards B and A. Again, start with card B, working on the inside with the silver side down. Go ahead now and power up the chassis. Verify that each card is detected on the front panel. If a card is not detected, power off the chassis and double check the ribbon cable. Once all cards are detected, go ahead and reinstall the top cover. Now the unit is configured and ready to install.